Boy, this is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> Fuck Chrissy! Who is telling me, Jenny? She used to do a little dancing herself, eh? Taught ballet years ago. <laughs> hey, we break Polly out of jail already. This shit's getting tedious. <clears throat> Who's that? Nobody. Jersey. Ralph Sephardo's crew. Anyway, I go. This motherfucker's still pissed off about Ralphie saying that shit. <laughs> this is gonna be ugly. John, how you doing? Damn. Not funny anymore? Man, he's fucking pissed. I say again, I guess you're not allowed to fight back if he's a made guy. Like, he can hit you and kick you all he wants. I don't understand. Is, is that the rule? I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to the question. But it's fucked. If it's the rule, it's fucked up. You can't let somebody beat the shit out of you and you not be able to fight back. Like, I just don't. That goes against everything I stand for. You buy a drink. Oh, my God. Really? Holy shit. Hey, it's Ralphie. I don't give a shit, but holy shit. Wow. Them's fighting pisses. <laughs> Like, I've said before, like, I'm a non-violent person. I haven't been violent in 25, 30 years. But I do believe in defending myself, and I would defend myself. Like, harshly. So, you know, that that's just, just, just that's my fucking rail on you, which is, every case we've seen that that's what happens, right? They never fight back. Like, when Tony's beating the shit out of somebody, they don't fight back. Is that Burberry? Oh my God, what happened? Nothing. Uh, I tripped. You tripped where? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Steps by Carmine's. Does she, and she learned now not to ask questions? Jesus. I used it to break my phone. Oh, Jesus. What is this? The position now? I had She should know by now, unless she's a new wife. I mean, you don't see Carm asking those kind of questions. Now, she may make a sarcastic comment, but you know. Including an assortment of other <sighs> investment vehicles. Well, like, Man, he's not. Does. Tony doesn't want to No, uh, shit. stop. Dad, it's Uncle Sil. Oh, I gotta get that. Say hello to Janelle. Silva's I'm pissed. Out, right? All started by Pauly. He is having an impact on the plot. Pauly's like, God damn it, you ain't gonna have me in this season, and I'm gonna fuck everything up. I'm gonna burn it all down. That don't seem like a legal parking to me, but okay. <laughs> I went over the receipts for the waterproofing at the Esplanade. This fucking Ralph's more creative than Spielberg. He's off almost four grand. Third time. I don't know, that's pretty now. creative. Good cocksucker could wind up dead. What are you saying here? <laughs> you know what he says. Uh, How much you want to go to bat for that piece of shit? Prick. I thought Ralph was your friend. Right. That's rich. Do you know what my friend said about my wife? Made a crack about Jeannie's waist. Something about her having a 90 pound mole on her ass. Well, that's, uh, that's deplorable. <laughs> I it's see you, Tony. And the Oscar goes to. That it was said. <laughs> well, if he did say it, I didn't hear it. Because he knows better than to make a remark like that when I'm alone. <laughs> She's fighting the I never had a problem with Jenny's weight. To me, she's beautiful. Uh, I give her this. The man loves her. But even if I was saying, you can't be serious about it winding up, but. Uh, you know, hey man, geez, does he look serious? That's what his mother. I'll send her something nice. <laughs> that's how they. That's all they give a shit about. Financial. <laughs> Tony hesitate for a second. He's like this crazy motherfucker. <laughs> Next Sunday is the party. We will be there. <laughs> hey, I just want you, babe. Yeah, yeah. Wow. See. First Johnny knows about flipping the property by the Esplanade. Not a shit. You got a snitch. How about Patsy? He's had issues. Maybe he's holding a grudge. Oh, you really think he's that cage? Albert, then. Wait a minute. What if Vesuvio's bugged and the fucking feds told Johnny? Conspiracy theories now. Why not? Create a little dysentery I mean, among the ranks? Table, you know? First of all, the place is swept once a week. Second of all, the feds want there's a lot more interesting shit being talked about than there. Besides, Jenny said fat ass. So, <laughs> the look really, dude, you gonna talk about a fat ass too? You fucking hypocritical bitch. <laughs> He's such an asshole. 
<laughs> what do you think? It's not possible, right? Sylvia oh, talking shit. to Johnny? Damn. You never know, T. Damn. Boy, what a backstabbing bitch. Refer back to my first comment in this video. <laughs> There's no drive. He's actually talked about dropping out. Am I supposed to give a shit about her fucking service. shitty problems? Because I don't. Thrive. <laughs> you know, um, I think seven, General Hammond was on Stargate for seven years, I believe. Yeah. And then he guest starred after that. Um, in seven years, he had maybe two episodes that delved into his life in the entire seven year run. We're talking, that's 140 episodes at least. Probably more, right? Only two episodes focused on him. His fucking problems. Because he was a vehicle through which the other characters traveled, right? He was there for them. They weren't there for him, right? That was his function as a character. I mean, you can only have so many protagonists, right? Some characters just are just there to serve a function. Dr. Melfi is there to serve a function. That's how I see her. I don't see her as a protagonist. She's there to serve a function. Anytime they pull focus from that, is a mistake in the show's part. That's just how it, what I think. She wanted to stick a dildo up my ass, make she believe did, she was tipping me out. I told her to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right, motherfucker. <laughs> Why would you even bring that up when Both you did family's it? Family's nuts. We saw you. We saw her pegging you, motherfucker. What's up? Yeah, this could be an uncomfortable conversation, Ralphie. Fellas. Take this shit to my house. Open some windows. I told you a season ago that Ralphie's fucking jokes was going to get him whacked. And they will. Are you? Fired is fine. The, the, the bullet has already been fired. It just hasn't hit him yet. Who does he think's keeping that fat bitch in devil dogs anyway? Whatever God he is, he's also Carmine's underboss. You're highly fucking outraged. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe that. They've heard him tell these shitty jokes. Hello? Nobody's going to believe him. Yes, yeah, she needs to go far, far away for this conversation. Okay, honey. Yeah, he can't have her over here, this shit. Because clearly she knows nothing about it, right? I don't betray confidences, Ralph. Are you denying you said it? Fuck yes, I'm denying I said it. <laughs> He's being very careful about that shit. Hey, baby, what's I don't up? Believe hey, you. you need to go further away, dude. Just, just tell me. John, please. Look, last year when Tony and I had our, our I love thing, Tony's got to coach this motherfucker. You were the voice of reason. You were the one that told me to apologize. Was he your apology? <laughs> you better not, bitch. But that's what it takes. Well, why would you apologize? I thought you didn't say it. I didn't say it. Now, something, Ralph. I know you a thief. You're a lying fucking prick. I should have yep. let Tony chop your head off a year ago. God damn, boy. <laughs> you what fucking idiot. You big no dummy. apology. I want Moron. you to sanction the hit on Ralph Sifferato. What? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what a segue. <laughs> he said. Watch this dude laugh. She was having a 90 pound mole. Removed from her ass. This dude's gonna laugh. The implication was that her ass is so big she could have a mole that size removed from it. <laughs> it's an off color <laughs> remark. It was highly inappropriate. <laughs> you want? I'll Tell about the money. Text. I'll clip him. <laughs> is is it all just about money? The motherfucker's going for his throat, man. I'll crack him good. I'll ask for 200 grand. 200 grand for something my wife. What's next, come on? You get the fuck up for a million? Who wants the fuck up? I'm making a point. I'm talking about my wife's honor here. My <laughs> honor. <laughs> that guy's got a one-track mind, man. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'd master the art of not spitting out my drink, by the way. I ain't letting that shit happen. I ain't wasting no drink. My answer has got to be no. How about breaking a limb, then? Can he break a limb? <laughs> Is that why you came here? To annoy me? Are you gonna help me? That's fine. That's very noble. Hey. Maybe I'll take Maybe. care of some of your sins, motherfucker. Believe it or not, the world doesn't revolve around you. It does in his own head, though. That's the point, you know. 
That's the way he sees everything, you know. Come on, let's uh, let's go to the bookstore. You probably need a sweatshirt or something. Hell yeah! See, that's how he solves every problem. Money. That's all he thinks about. There, that's a common refrain throughout this whole thing. Everything is transactional with these motherfuckers. That's a key fit, part of understanding. Every now and then, there'll be a pure, pure emotion, like we just saw with uh, Johnny Sack, right? Sometimes it's pure emotion. Damn. Hey. Take it easy. <laughs> hey, GW, you sit right over. My friend, he was sitting at the same table, boy. All right, let's straighten this out. <laughs> okay, I get it. I, I talked to the guy over Fernandez page. Sit down over there. Account. I'm sorry, Comrade. I can't be in the same room with this man. He's gonna kill this motherfucker, boy. Lying bitch. I was right, he can't sit across the table from <laughs> Boy, this is bad. This is very, very bad. I paused it because I got to take the bathroom anyway, but I wanted to make this point while I'm still thinking about it. I I think I've honed in on what one thing about this show is just distinctly different than everything else, every other show I've ever seen. If, 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 you know, not that I've seen every TV show. There may be other shows that do this, right? In a modern TV show, you would have had a scene like that with where he, you know, Johnny Sack, I can't do this and I leave. And then he leaves. The other characters would talk about that. There would be, there wouldn't be, because that the whole entire scene lasted maybe 70 seconds, right? I didn't, you know, it was a little bit more than a minute, but it wasn't much more than a minute. Um, very quick scene. And then they're on to the fucking scene where the two people are talking in the, the college. That's quick. They're setting something up with that. I'm not sure where that's going yet, but they're setting something up there. You know, that's fine. There's no problem with that. Setup scenes can be very short. Then we're on to this thing, and it's him and Carmella, and they're going to talk about some shit. Okay, so so we had that one quick scene with Johnny Sack, 70 seconds long, and then bam, we're out, and we're on to something else. I'm not saying this is bad. I'm saying it's different. It, you know, because a modern show, The Flash... You would have a scene like that. They would literally sit around and the, the rest of the characters in that room would have talked about it for another two minutes before we went on to another scene. There would have been... It's just give, the t give it time to breathe. Give it time to reflect and maybe find out what the other characters think about all this, right? Um, this show doesn't do that. And I, like I mean, again, I'm not making a value judgment here. I'm not sure whether I like that better or like what The Flash would do, for instance, because The Flash sometimes often will spend too much time on something. That's why I stopped watching it. But... It is abrupt. We never get... We've we got to take that in and boom, we're on to something else and we have no idea what any of the other three characters in that room felt. How did Carmine feel about him having to travel all the way here and he sat down for literally 20 seconds and then he's done? How do you feel about that? Now, maybe the point is none of the three characters that were left in that room would have been honest with each other about their feelings, so it's pointless. Because I'm sure they did talk. They definitely had a conversation. Maybe they went out to have a fucking meal since they were already there anyway, right? They talk, but they probably, I think the point could be, I'm discovering this as I say it, none of them would have said anything to each other that mattered because none of them could be honest with each other because they're not all in this, they're different crews, right? Uh, they're, there's, they're different ranks, but they're also a different crew, different tribes, you know? So they just wouldn't be honest with each other. You know, of course, um, Ralphie's not going to admit anything. Tony's kind of got mixed feelings. He's not going to admit anything to either one of them. And Carmine, he's not going to sell out Johnny Sachs to the two of them. I find that very interesting. You know, um, maybe as I as I talk this out loud, like in the Flash, the characters will be honest with each other. You know, this show they're not. So maybe that's the point. Like none of them left that room knowing what the other two thought anyway, because it was all this. It was all bullshit. Interesting. Yeah, she is obsessive. Maybe you don't care about our future, Tony, but I do. What do you get that I don't care? I met with your cousin. Yeah, you met with Brian. You sat there eating cake and making wisecracks. <laughs> you gonna cry now? Oh Jesus! Never ever say this to your significant other. Ever. The hell is of course, wrong with you? we're not cavemen. Can you ignore so me, of course Tony? You won't say that. Well, that's your problem right there. Cause you equate love with money. You equate love with money. I, I, if I had to have my full, I would have said that first and there would have been a cue card moment. Like, of course he fucking does, man. Of course he does. Duh. The subtext just became text. Let's think <laughs> of the issue. 
A horrible insult was made against Jenny. End of fucking story. <laughs> I want to avenge your honor. This is my right to... Ralph said what you think he said. Is clipping him going to unring that bell? Nobody's getting clipped. I want satisfaction. <laughs> like I said, break a leg. Sale. <laughs>